next on the line, Abdul is joining us. He's a Barca fan. They've been smashed out the park today. What are you saying, Abdul? Yo, Terry. I'm not really that upset over it, to be fair, bro. Uh, <laughs> nah, bro, I'm going to be honest and tell you why. Like, And Chelsea fans, they're going to experience this soon because for us and in this market, getting attackers was always the most important thing because the attackers market is so dead this summer. It's such a dead market. You can see it like Chelsea have been linked to St. Maximum, bro. That's how dead this market is. And I feel like the centre-back market, say what you want, there's still a lot of options out there, you know. There is still a lot of options available. And I'm not really stressing that much over it because, let's be honest, even Kunde, even 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 Tuchel doesn't even rate Kunde that highly, bro. That's why he went for <laughs> Delict, uh, Ake, uh, Kimpembe before he even went to Kunde, so... I'm not really stressed like that over 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 Kunde. I do think he's a good signing, to be fair, because he has impressed me every time I've seen him. And Sevilla's defensive record, I think it was the best in the league last season. So he yeah. must be he must be a good player, bro. So congrats just, to you guys. Were you you going to say, say something? Really quickly, yeah. You, you go on about forwards, and I agree with you. Don't get me wrong. Lemon Dulce is a great signing for you guys. I get it. But... Ultimately, your sense like the central back area is, is still so important. And when you look at what supposedly Javi wanted, and this is what we were being told in the reports, was that he wanted Koulibaly, he wanted Kunde, and he wanted Christensen. And I can't remember the other guy that's already there. I can't remember his name anyway. But that was that's what he wanted. You tried to get Koulibaly to to wait till January because you couldn't couldn't get him this window. He didn't. Tried to get Kunde, yeah, and and you didn't even bid for him. You've got Christensen. Who else have you got at the back now? Christensen, maybe Aspilicueta. You might end, end up getting a little bit. But, but can I have before, to interrupt you because you're yeah, wrong. Yeah, but you're your wrong. Your backline is going to be absolutely well, your body was a backup about. option. No, no, no. no. I'm sorry. Dead. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> but but, but it's wrong. Really First of all, Kulabani was a backup option if Kunde didn't come. We were never going to get both of them. Kulabani was always a backup option if Kunde didn't come. So from that sense, you guys have done us over because You've taken our backup option and Kunde and our primary target. But, bro, there is the plenty of targets out there. And you look, know, you, you know, you still you, have wait, questions. Wait, let me learn. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me learn. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, one second, one second. We took the best striker available in the market. You're begging a guy who scored six goals for Southampton last season all summer to stay at your club. There is no other attacker out there that can do anything like a Rafinha or like a Lewandowski at that level, bro. So you guys are fucked now because I'm sorry for swearing, bro. I'm sorry for swearing, but there is like you're the fucked. Attacker, you don't but... got no centre backs, brother. I was gonna <laughs> say you are way, you are way. Chris is your best centre back. No, he's not. Do you know how mad? Do you know how mad but he, that is? But he isn't. But he isn't. Ronald Araujo is clear of any centre back, back you guys have. Bro. He's not your best centre back. He's your second best centre back. We were in that position last year. That's not a good thing to be in. It's not a good no, thing. No, okay, but but let me take you through this. You ask me play wing back. But, but let you me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. But you guys, play wing back. so Come far on. this summer, wait, wait, one more. So far this summer, you guys have just replaced players with left. You haven't actually added anything. No, no, but they, no. But other players we've added in in improvement on oh, what we better, had. bro. One hundred percent. I wanted to say something to Terry, bro. I, I wanted to say something to Terry. Yeah, I wanted to say something to you, and this is and this is from yesterday's show, bro. Actually, from yesterday's show, because what Nick said pissed me off yesterday, in regards to Memphis Depay, bro, because it was the most out of context opinion I've ever seen in my life. Like he was slating Memphis Depay, saying this guy is not good enough. He he's not gonna cut it in the Premier League. He's not gonna cut it for us. But bro. Who else are you going to sign? The market is dead, bro. And you need players. That This is the thing that annoys me is that people give their opinions out of context. Like, can you Chelsea fans tell me, who are you going to sign for your attack? Have it is Not Memphis Depay, that's for sure. Not, yeah, hey, hey. There are play, there are play, there, you will yeah. find a player. You just, like, I, there, there are players. Who? Wait, 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 give me a name. Give me a name. But you play FIFA, bro. Give me a name. I play, I play Abdul, 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 the thing is, though, the thing is, though, what you're better off doing is signing no one and waiting for someone better to come yeah. along than signing Memphis to pie. I agree to you. I agree slightly because, because yes, Memphis is not better than anything Man United have already got. 
No, he is. He's he's better than Martial and Rashford. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry. Oh. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. So, uh, uh, but me, even if I was to agree that he's not better, what, Terry, you have to be honest with me. You still need an attacker, regardless whether the pie is again, good enough. Again, or not. again, again, again. Man United and Chelsea, separate situations. Chelsea are, were very recently Champions League winners and should be with their manager, where their club has been challenging for titles. We're at the beginning of a rebuild. If we can't get the right players now. Yes, I would like one. But this whole, oh, if you don't get that striker, it's season over for you. But we're not looking at next season. We're looking at the medium to long term when you start a rebuild. So I'm relaxed about it, bro. We need to sign the right players of the right standard. And we need to stop doing what we've done for the last nine years that you will ridicule us for. And that's wasting money on substandard quality. So you, what you can't do is banter us for nine years. And, and criticize, forget banter. You can't criticize Man United for a decade and say you waste money on substandard players and then go, oh, you guys should just go out and sign substandard players because you've got holes in your team. That you that makes no sense. You're literally, but, but how can you call Martial a better player than Memphis Depay? Because, when, because think, when hang on, your club signed him and is already willing to get rid of him for 20 million quid. First <laughs> of all, he, he was signed on a two year deal, so he has one year left on his contract. And second of all, he you was a top him, you scorer. Signed him, you signed him on a two-year deal. That tells you everything you need to know, Abdul. Listen, my guy, thanks for calling in and having your say. I appreciate it, mate. Speak again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I'm not even I'm not even getting but, into the debate that Martial... Terry, Rashford... you're, you're, you're right. It's like Chelsea fans like say, oh, we just need another attacker. We're already struggling to get rid of the dead wood we got now. We need <laughs> to buy the right player. We can't afford to spend 40, 50 million mm. and then have him there Two years no, later, two hundred grand a week. It's I I, I agree, and as I say, like people keep saying this to me as a United fan, you need to get all these positions filled. We do, but we don't need to do it all this summer. Like, this notion that we were going to fill all these supposed holes in one summer, uh, it, rivals have made it up, the media have made it up, and the mushrooms have made it up. Yeah. Who thought? If you think we've got ten holes in our team, who's signing ten first team players in one summer? Even Chel even Spurs ain't done it. Spurs have got six players, got five at a push. The way they're throwing Fraser Foster in there like it's a proper signing is crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a backup goalie. It's a backup goalie. They're signing five players, which is amazing. One of them is a bang average centre back. One's a backup goalkeeper. One's a pensioner who's going to play wing back. They've signed three proper players this summer. Three proper players. That's it. Um, let's go to some of these more of these super chats, and we're going to do some more calls here. Um, Hopefully we see Hutchinson against uh, Udinese. Um, I'm not Italian. Uh, I want to see what he is about because I don't know anything about him. A few days ago, had no club uh, at all. He was at Chelsea as a kid. Yeah, that'll be an interesting one. I want to say thank you to Blue Dragon. For becoming an official football terrorist member. Derek here says, you've got to multiply the decimal by 12 inches. I hear you, bro. I'm just saying I was reading the website. And that's what he was telling me in inches. I can't, I can't say any clearer than that. I'm very, very, I'm very sorry for using Google. Uh, I want to say thank you to Daniel. 